Philadelphia. I would just say something that I did that really helped me choose a career path was volunteering. Um, so at some point I was deciding between being a teacher or going into business or becoming a doctor. Um, so what I did was I volunteered at the Ontario Science Centre and I realized that education is great, but it wasn't something that I wanted to dedicate my life towards. And the same thing goes for business. I did Junior Achievement, which is a really amazing high school program where you can start your own business. Um, and I realized that what I loved about the business aspect was talking to people and socializing with people and networking, um, but not necessarily business itself. Um, and then I found myself volunteering at local hospitals and I started realizing that I love talking to patients. And that's kind of where I honed in on my career path. And just once I kind of figured out where I wanted to go, everything else kind of fell into place. If you look up people that you admire, or people that you know are very um, popular in a certain field that you're, that you're interested in, look up their bio and see how they got to um, where they're at and see how many, um, you know, like zigzags and steps forwards and backs that they had to, that they, that they experienced to see um, how diverse your career path can be. Most of the universities today um, have fabulous websites that uh, highlight their groups in science. There's lots of universities who have women in science uh, groups who you can just tap into, who you can um, go on and, and listen to a webinar, you can go on and listen to um, a TED talk um, that um, just gives you some insight into again, different people, different leaders, different opportunities that, uh, that go their way. And you know, we're, in a, we're at a time where um, you know, technology is exploding, where we have access to the whole world at our fingertips. Like we can talk for an hour across the country and share ideas and share experiences. And there's no greater time in our history than there is today in terms of opportunity, um, and, and, and especially in, in science uh, and STEM in the areas that are really and truly going to make a difference for society going forward. There's not a big secret to developing a network. Networks start by relationships and so when you're in high school they will start with your teachers, maybe your parent, a neighbor, friend, somebody that's doing a job, a career, or has a style that you admire and you like, and you start developing a relationship with them and you build your network of people that I'm going to say in my own bias, people that are positive, that are encouraging, and that you have something to learn from. Biggest thing I've learned in the past 11 months along those lines is that you have to speak up and you have to talk about, um, you know, like the trouble, the challenges you're facing, things that you might need help with, any questions you have is the most important things to be bringing up to people. So something that I kind of live by now um, is that you miss 100% of the shots that you don't take. In high school, you're as young as ever. It's time to learn, it's time to try new things out. I think now is the perfect opportunity to make connections, to meet people, to start things and start your own journey. Elective courses are a great opportunity to take something that uh, is not related to your program or something that you're just interested in. And, and it's okay to go into something, perhaps in university and um, you know, take some classes, see how it goes, and you might not actually know what that thing is until you start learning about it. But don't close off, don't limit yourself to what you think something might be. It might be a lot different than what you think. And it's okay to go through university and learn that as you go and not know everything going into it. <laughs> so my advice to you would be to choose an educational path that will excite you, that will stretch your potential, and create a path for yourself that you can be proud of. The world needs more women in STEM, and I hope you choose to be one of them.